Hey guys, we'll write a simple algorithm to identify whether a loop exists in a given linked list or not. In case if loop exists, we need to break that. So in our previous videos to identify loop, we have used a Floyd cycle detection algorithms. We will continue using same algorithm here to find out whether loop exists or not. Uh, let me reiterate what it is. Uh, in Floyd cycle detection algorithm, we will take two references uh, to pointers. The both are pointing to head initially. Uh, the first pointer will traverse one node at a time. The second pointer will traverse two nodes at a time. At one point of time, both nodes is pointing to same reference. I mean, both pointers are pointing to same node. So if that case exists, then there is a uh, there is a loop exists in linked list. In case during traversal any node returns null, that means we reached end of the linked list and there is no loop exists. If we found loop is exists, we need to write code to break the loop. How can we do that? So let me explain what is our approach here. Let's say that at uh, 15, we identified pointer 1 equal to pointer 2. So 15 became a loop node. So the loop node identification can happen at 16 or 4 or 9, depends on uh, um, node count, right? So I know only loop node. I need to identify what is the last node in the loop that I need to identify. Then only I can set this particular node dot next reference to null. So how can we identify this is the last node and this is the first, I mean first node in the loop. So one of the approach is count number of nodes in the loop that means loop length let's say that k equal to loop length if we calculate loop length then define two pointers let's say p1 initially we point to head p2 also point to head so what we do as a first step, we'll make sure that P2 point to K nodes from head. Head plus K nodes. In this case, let's say the length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. K equal to 6. So initially, P1 will point here and P2 will 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So P2 will point here. So now we'll increment from here onwards. We'll increment both pointers in same pace. That means one node at a time. I mean it travels this way, it travels this way and P1 and P2 will meet and loop starting it will meet here did you get how it will uh, how both pointers exactly matches here so the logic is very simple we know the loop length um, if say let's say that uh, total linked list size is x and uh, x minus loop k, I mean the number of elements in loop will return y. Let's say here 1, 2, total 8 nodes are there, um, 8 minus 6 equal to 2. So if you traverse 2 nodes from here, it reaches the loop starting element. You traverse 2 nodes from here, it reaches end of the linked list 
it's supposed to point null here right so that is how it is meeting at loop starting node once we identify loop starting node identify loop end node that is 99 if you identify this set this pointer to i mean next pointer to null so this is our approach let's write a code for this let's create a class remove linked list loop i'll copy node ref node class from a previous example now let's write a method static boolean let's say that if um, uh, a loop exists and uh, we remove the loop re loop then we return true in case loop does not exist we will return false remove linked list loop so we will send head node reference as an input node head so we need to identify whether loop exists or not so for that as discussed we will create two pointer references node slow moving pointer pointing to head node node fast moving is also pointing to head node now while slow moving node not equal to null and fast moving node not equal to null and since fast moving node will be traversing two nodes at a time we need to do null check not only for fast moving we also need to check its next reference dot next also should not be null in exit condition so now let's traverse dot next fast moving equal to fast moving dot next dot next two step increment two step iteration here if in this case if slow moving is equals to fast moving the loop exists from here we need to write a logic to remove loop let's write a method static wide remove loop it will take two input parameters one is one of the loop node the second one is the head node reference now let me call this method here I'll send uh, slow moving as a loop node reference and head here. So return boolean dot true because we identified loop exists and we are trying to remove outside this while loop. If if it comes out of the while loop, that means the loop does not exist. We will return false so now let's concentrate here as a first step identify loop length so i'll define an integer k i'll initialize with one because we already know one of the loop element so now node pointer one is referring to loop node pointer two is also referring to loop let's count while p 
p1.next not equal to p2. We'll increment k plus plus and also we advance p1 to next node p1 dot next. So with this we will we'll get to know what is the length of the loop. If you want to know you can print. loop node length equal to this. So once we know the loop uh, length, we need to initialize both pointers to head first. P1 equal to head and P2 must be K nodes from head. P2 equal to head but we will advance to k nodes. So that we will write a for loop int i equal to 0, i less than k, i plus plus, k is length of the loop, p2 equal to p2 dot next. So after this, p2 is pointing to a node which is k nodes from head. So now from here onwards we will move p1 and p2 in the same pace that means one node at a time compare each other are they pointing to same that means p1 equal to p2. If they are same that is the starting point of the loop while p1 dot p1 double equal to p2 I mean not equal to as long as p1 not equal to p2 we should run the loop. So p1 dot p1 equal to p1 dot next p2 equal to p2 dot next if p1 double equal to p2 I don't think we need this condition because um, it by default exists once uh, I mean when p1 equal to p2 it will be out of while loop and that became the starting point of the node I mean starting node of the loop. So from here now we know that uh, p1 p2 is at initial stage I mean let me put the diagram I will show. So now p1 and p2 both are pointing here both are pointing here. So now what we will do we will keep p1 here and p2 we will go traverse and try to identify 99. So for that write a while loop p2 dot next not equal to p1 p2 equal to p2 dot next. Once the while loop is done, p2 is pointing to the last node of the loop, set its next reference to null. So with this statement, it will break loop. Now let's write a simple uh, print method to see the results at the end. Static void print list node head while head not equal to null system dot out dot println 
head dot data so now let's write the main method um, i'll copy main method from our previous class so we can save some time so we have a code already exist here with and we need to call we need to point to remove link list loop so we have created five nodes n1 to n5 and each node is pointing to its next node and n5 again pointing back to n3 that means loop exists now after executing this let's print i mean sorry let me call the print method so that we can see the result let's run main method it's getting into infinite loop i did mistake somewhere let me check that oh yeah i didn't travel set dot next let me run once again so now you can notice that loop node length is 3 loop existed 2 and it traversed and exited it didn't get into that cyclic behavior infinite loop 10 45 56 12 79 thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel